this is battery eliminator switch and rheostat and 4 key and we have uh, kept our uh, tangent galvanometer in east west direction to cancel out north south earth magnetic field i have kept deflection meter at 0 cm and now we are going to take our direct current reading and reverse current reading this is a direct current reading and i am going to switch four key position and i am going to interchange this position now these positions are for reverse current okay and now i have done it and this deflection is reverse current deflection now i have kept the direction meter 3 cm away from the coil as i increase the distance between the coil and the direction meter the value of deflection will decrease when i put the direction meter at 0 cm i get direct current value 75 and the reverse current value 65 and the mean 70 direct current reverse current mean 70 tan phi 2.74 and uh, when i put the direction meter at 2 cm i get direct current phi 65 and reverse current phi 65 the mean of direct current and reverse current is 65 and tan phi is 2.14 and now we are going to calculate the value for the other side of the coil and when we place at 0 cm we get direct current 75 and reverse current 65 at 0 cm for the other side ok and 75 direct current phi reverse current phi 65 and the mean phi 70 and 2.14 and at, at 2 cm we get uh, 70 direct current and uh, 60 reverse current phi and the mean phi is 65 and the tan phi is 2.14 here bh is constant so the b is directly proportional to tan phi here you can see the one wire is connected from battery eliminator to the switch and one wire is connected to the four way keys from the switch here you can see and one wire is connected from the four way keys to the tangent galvanometer and here you can see one wire is coming from the tangent galvanometer to the four way keys and here is a another wire between rheostat and four way keys and rheostat is again connected to the battery eliminator here is the full circuit